Hey guys and welcome back to Celeb Plant. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Beyonce and Jay-Z getting exposed for Hollywood sacrifices. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Kanye West has given the world some of the most incredible songs and albums in recent years, and West's inventiveness is not limited to the music industry. The Flashing Lights hitmaker is a wealthy businessman, however in recent years the rapper has made headlines for reasons other than his creativity. He has recently been surrounded by controversies, West has repeatedly made headlines for his dubious statements, and now the heartless star has called out some very successful black artists for being puppets. Kanye West has always been outspoken about his beliefs. In recent months, the rapper has been in the news several times due to legal squabbles with Adidas and Gap, as well as anti-Semitic remarks. As multi-billion dollar brands Adidas dropped West, the rapper has been going through a rough patch in his business career. In the midst of all this, who are the celebrities Kanye West referred to as puppets and why? Let us investigate. The rapper claims that he is the only celebrity that cannot be controlled. He called out Jay-Z, LeBron James, Shaq, and Beyonce for being puppets. Furthermore, the Gold Digger singer added, They can control Shaq, they can control Charles Barkley, they can control LeBron James, they can control Jay-Z and Beyonce, but they can't control me. It's not clear exactly what he means by they, maybe he believes in some Illuminati thing or something. In addition to that, he made even more shocking statements. The 22-time Grammy winner claimed that a bunch of people were sacrificed, including his mama, Michael Jordan's dad, and Bill Cosby's son. West added, they want to monetize and traumatize, but failed to give any details on the topic or any evidence at all. Recently, the rapper is facing another legal feud over his song, Life of the Party. Following his recent media outburst, fans have been mocking the rapper and confessing how much they missed the days when Kanye dropped music. Some users, on the other hand, have defended the rapper, calling him brave. This is not the first time that Kanye and Jay-Z had a feud. Their feud goes all the way back. Also, despite reports that Beyonce and Kim Kardashian bonded during the Watch the Throne tour, neither Jay-Z nor Beyonce attended West's wedding in Fort di Belvedere in Florence, Italy. Their absence fueled rumors that West and Jay-Z were feuding. Beyonce, on the other hand, congratulated the couple on Instagram. Jay-Z was chastised by West for failing to reach out after Kim Kardashian was robbed at gunpoint in Paris. According to NME, while on his St. Pablo tour in Seattle West, told the crowd, Don't call me after the robbery and say, how you feeling? You want to know how I'm feeling? Come by the house. Bring the kids by the house, like we're brothers. Let's sit down, he added. I can't take this sh bro. Our kids have never even played together. During West Sacramento show, he went after Jay-Z again. Call me, bruh. You still ain't calling me. Jay-Z, call me. I, bruh. I know you got killers. Please don't send them to my head. Just call me. Talk to me like a man. Shortly after his performance, West was hospitalized for exhaustion and forced to cancel the rest of his tour. What a baby. Meanwhile, Jay-Z releases his 444 album, Lyrics on the Track. Kill Jay-Z included the lines, but you got hurt because you did cool by Ye. You give him 20 million without blinking. He gave you 20 minutes on stage. F was thinking, F wrong with everybody, is what you saying. But if everybody's crazy, you're the one that's insane. Meanwhile, Adidas has announced that it will end its partnership with Ye, cease production of Yeezy branded products, and cease all payments to Ye and his companies. The decision has cost the line of sneakers accounts for nearly half Adidas' profits, according to analyst estimates. According to Bloomberg, Adidas, like Gap Incorporated and Caring SA's Balenciaga fashion label, has cut ties with Ye. In recent weeks, the rapper has made controversial statements including anti-Semitic social media posts and has moved to cut ties with his corporate partners. When asked for a comment, Ye did not respond. That's all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when we come with newer content. Thanks for watching. We're signing off now, and we'll be back with some amazing content for you soon.